Hello, this is MakerJ11, and I'm on break now. Yay! So, yeah, now I've got some time to do projects and stuff like that. Um, so I just gotta get around to them. I was actually hunting this weekend as well, so that's why I didn't make a video on Saturday. And then today I was um, fiddling around with stuff and didn't really get very far in anything. But um, So I did make this, though. And this is going to be a fan, I believe. It could be a turbine, though. It, I haven't decided yet which I'm going to do first. Um, so... My original intent for it was to be a fan for the um, intake for my um, burner, or my boiler. So, because this, where was it? This fan wasn't going to blow enough air, mainly because there's not enough force, or not enough um, surface area on each fin to accelerate the air to a high enough velocity. So it didn't really pump enough air. So I think this one should do a lot better. This is basically a hard drive, even though it looks perfect. Um, I just used a hard drive disc platter like this, and I took a took and printed out a just a circle with degrees on it. And these are each 10 degrees. Well, my camera's out of focus. Okay, so these are each 10 degrees. I just printed this Google like circle with, with degrees or something marked on it, and then printed this out and then glued it on and then just cut it with the tin snips and bent them all and it looks like amazing so I I think I'm gonna use this one for a fan or a blower and then I'll make another one and I'm gonna use that for a turbine so I'd like some uh, input on this so I was trying to figure out which way to have these if I should have them bent or straight and I can't decide so it's gonna be kinda like a oh well, I don't know how to describe it it's gonna have a, a a guard around it like this that's going to be shaped something like that so it's going to um, blow the air this way and it's going to have a plate with a hole in it kind of like this where it'll suck the air in and um, so I can't can't decide oops messing everything up so if it's like this I can't decide if I should bend these um, fins this way or bend them this way um, because I've seen many different designs so like see this one little here it's got fins that are bent or well they're not bent they're just at an angle as well as um, where did I put I did not prepare for this video um, as well as this one here so you can see this one the fans so it spins this way and they're bent this way but a squirrel cage fan like um, this one they're actually bent in the opposite direction. This actually spins this way, and these actually would like cut into the air. So I'm really confused as to which way I should have these bent, and um, I don't know. So if it spins this way, the logical way to me would, th I'd think that they should be bent this way. Um, but I don't know, maybe you guys would have some input on that, what I should do. But so far, just testing this, sticking it, hot gluing it on here, spinning it up a little bit, it seems to blow a ton more air than this little thing did. So hopefully it'll blow enough and high enough pressure air. Um, so my plan is to have this bl blow enough air that it can actually supply the air for the secondary air supply as well as the primary. So it's going to blow some air directly into the burner, and then some of it's going to blow in beside it, to give it secondary air to burn because in my burner there's only primary air and I think that's why I'm not getting a perfect combustion. So the other idea with this that I'm probably just going to make another one because I have more hard drive discs, um, I'm going to make a steam turbine. So I'll probably stick it on something like this for the generator, maybe something smaller. This is from a hard drive, um, this is a hard drive motor. So I might just stick it on something like this and I'll have a nice alternator there and just stick that on there and I'll have a nice steam turbine. We can see how much power we can get from that. So I'm trying to decide which size of um, generator would be best. So, um, but yeah, that's my progress on that. So that's going to be a video coming eventually. I still need to make that firebox. I'm just stumped on it. Um, whether, like, the dimensions of it, and I just don't want to mess it up because I don't have that much metal. That is, like, I have this one big sheet down here that's the right gauge. These ones are kind of thick to use, but I might have to use those. And also they're painted, so I'd have to sand it all off if I want to solder it together. But I just have to, I don't know, plan it out, and I don't know, I haven't gotten around to it yet. But, um, so, yeah, that's, this is going to be a future video. I still have this, um, 
check valve how to video coming and that should be soon because I've got that video halfway made I just have to finish making it so that's gonna be a video coming up here over break as well as this hopefully um, I'll hopefully do some more runs with the steam engine I've not abandoned it yet some people are I'm wondering where's the steam engine I just haven't um, had enough time to run it lately but I do want to make a prawny break for that and test the uh, mechanical output of it so I'm gonna do that sometime I also have some car projects to do I'm gonna replace the crank seal as well as the cover gasket um, some stuff like that so I'm gonna do that on my car um, what else over a break I'm sure I'm gonna think of lots of other projects I still wanna um, make a more a bigger high voltage um, marks generator I have one stage made up I just haven't gone around to doing the rest of them um, I'm not sure what else I have. So, but yeah, and I still want to fiddle around with my, uh, um, the, where did I put it? Oh, whatever it is. The, uh, voltage regulator. I still want to fiddle around with that and get it working. But, um, so yeah. Crushed a little bit of a mess right now. It was a bigger mess today, but I cleaned it up. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, I was taking some components off boards. Um,. Yeah, because my, my circuit board compartment down here fills up really fast, and then I have to, uh, when it's full, I know that it's time to uh, start taking some components off. So, especially these TV boards, they take up a ton of space, because if there's a flyback on here, and this thing, the uh, what the frequency filter, whatever this, the tuner is, um, that takes up a ton of space, and you can only fit like one of those in there, so I have to part all the components off of there, and salt and stuff so but yeah I got a couple boards down there um but yeah I like to have a bunch of boards on hand just in case I need some parts um yeah I don't I still want to do more aluminum casting there's a couple of projects I want to or things I want to aluminum cast I just haven't gotten I'm around to setting that up and doing it but now that I have some more time hopefully I'll be able to get around to that um and then actually this is something I just got um, this is from my grandma. This is a, um, a, I've been experimenting with it. This one's been running all day. It's a hand warmer that runs on, um, white gas, or Coleman fuel, or Napa, whatever you want to call it. It's basically a more, uh, refined gasoline. And, um, so, pop the tab on top off here. It's kind of hard to do. Oh, and I lost the burner. So, where did it go? Here it is. It's probably hot. But I believe this burner has platinum in it, but it's a catalyst reaction. So you put, there's this container is full of um, cotton, and you soak that with the fuel, and then you put the burner on top, which is basically a catalyst. So it the vapors from the fuel mix with the, or combine with the oxygen on the catalyst, and produce heat. And these things are amazing. <laughs> I mean, this thing is really nice and warm. It actually gets kind of hot after if you take it out of the the bag actually regulates how much oxygen gets to it so if you take it out it actually gets really hot sometimes but um it's a really cool little device i'm actually thinking about buying more of them so yeah because we've got a bunch of coleman fuel and it's be really nice for skiing and hunting and stuff like that so but yeah this one's actually made in canada so it's a really cool little device and yeah it's supposed to some of them are supposed to last like 24 hours hand warmers like four or six hours those uh cheap throwaway ones and um but yeah these are like i don't know i was looking at them they're like 12 dollars or something so I might back up a little more but um so yeah that's some of the projects and updates and um yeah so i'm on break yay so that's about it guys thanks for watching look for more videos that's about it thanks for watching